Okay guys, now we're gonna get into installing a transducer board onto the transom of this boat. A couple reasons why I like to do this. Number one, you're only putting two holes into the boat to mount this. Another reason is if you need to adjust your transducers, add another one, you're switching out your sonar heads, transducer's gonna be different. You can drill all kinds of holes in here and it isn't gonna affect the integrity of the transom at all. Whether it's aluminum boat like this one in front of us or a fiberglass boat, I like to use these transducer boards in most installations just for the simple fact of uh, you're just eliminating the amount of holes you're putting in the back of a boat. So usually when I install these, number one, I look at the bottom of the boat and I see where our rivet lines are and our strake lines. Aluminum boats, you have to be very aware of where all that's going on. And then I determine where I'm mounting this transducer board in relation to where we're mounting our high-speed skimmer. And the reason being is that a high-speed skimmer has to have clean water coming over the bottom of it. The side imaging, not so much, because usually your optical reading on side imaging or down imaging is one to four or five miles an hour, whereas the high-speed skimmer in this particular boat, you could be running 45, 50 miles an hour, and you want to make sure you keep that bottom reading on your sonar. So just looking at the bottom of the boat, I see a rivet line, I see a strake, Another strake. We need to figure out where we're going to put that high-speed skimmer. And ideally, I don't want it in front of one of these rollers, just in case when you're putting your boat back on the trailer, you don't overshoot the bow roller, which means this would come out and it could hit your uh, transducer and damage it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on mounting my high-speed skimmer right here. And we're free all the way to the front of the boat. And the side imaging transducer is going to go here. I like to keep it about a half inch to three quarters up from the bottom of the boat and I'll hold it there and what I like to do is just mark my holes with my drill bit. So those are my two holes that I'm going to drill out. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So when you're drilling your hole, these are the screws that come with the transducer board. Make sure your drill bit is just a tiny little bit smaller than, that, than the actual screw, the mounting hardware you're using, just so you get enough bite into that aluminum. So the next thing I like to do is I get my screw started into the, into the board. Then I take a good quality marine grade underwater rated silicone and I'll put a gob over and around the hole that we just drilled. Okay, I'll also put a line down the middle, which kind of acts as an adhesive too. So not only are we mounting it with the screws, we're also using the silicone as an adhesive just for a little added security when we're, when we're mounting that. So I'll start the one side, I don't drive it home. Then I'll get the other side started and drive that home. And you don't want to go crazy with this because you could strip out that aluminum. So just make sure they're good and snug. And our transducer board's mounted. So now that our transducer board is complete, we're ready to mount our transducers. And then the beauty about this, like we mentioned earlier, is you can add another transducer, change it out. You can adjust the ones you've already put on and uh, you're just drilling holes in this plastic and not in the aluminum. <laughs>